Welcome to the I Love the Princess of Wales channel, where you can find the most recent information about Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her family. Today's breaking news, Princess Catherine's heartfelt gesture in honor of Queen Elizabeth this Christmas. This year will be the first Christmas in a while without the Queen. In honor of her in-law Queen Elizabeth, Princess Catherine will conduct a special performance of carols. On December 15, the ceremony will take place at Westminster Abbey, and Christmas Eve will see a broadcast of it on ITV. By posting a video online, the Princess of Wales tweeted about the occasion. It has an illustration of the joyful concert invitation by artist Aurelie Baudry Palmer. The invitation features a cartoon depiction of Westminster Abbey covered in snow along with Christmas trees and snowmen. However, according to the artist, Kate explicitly asked for corgis to be included in the invitation in honor of Queen Elizabeth, according to Express. The Princess of Wales carol service at Westminster Abbey was announced, and Ms. Palmer said it was an honor to be asked to depict the announcement by Kensington Palace. They contacting me was definitely a pinch me moment. This commission was completed rather quickly, and I also wanted to allow for comments, such as the corgi's inclusion. I'm thrilled that my work has received such a large audience and that I was able to contribute in any tiny way to such a heartfelt community carol event. I spent three days working on the drawing, documenting my progress and showing it to the Kensington Palace staff to make sure I was on the correct route. Over the course of three days, I worked on the drawing, documenting my progress and showing it to the Kensington Palace staff to ensure I was on the correct route. The start of a new royal tradition will be marked by Princess Catherine's special concert at Westminster Abbey the second year in a row. The performance will honor Queen Elizabeth this year after honoring her last year as a thank you for everyone's efforts during the outbreak. The event will honor the principles she championed throughout her life and recognize charitable deeds committed by communities across Britain as well as the virtue of helping those in need. Everyone in the UK, regardless of their religion or lack thereof, is welcome to attend the event. In any case, a lot of royal family enthusiasts are anticipating the present that the Princess of Wales will give them. When I wrote this news, I was a fanatical fan. As anticipation grows for the Prince and Princess of Wales impending carol service at Westminster Abbey, I am eager to see if Kate Middleton will give them the same Christmas present she did last year. After captivating audiences with a duet performance of For Those Who Can't Be Here Last Year, royal admirers are eager to learn whether the Princess of Wales will play piano on television once more this December. The public was given a beautiful invitation by Prince William and Princess Catherine to attend their spectacular Christmas carol service next month on Saturday. The lovely Reponders Sil Vu Platt is the couple's second consecutive year to host the joyful celebration at the renowned London Cathedral, and it features a watercolour rendering of Westminster Abbey by Aurelie Baudry Palmer of Home Drawn. On December 15, a recording of the memorial ceremony for the late Queen Elizabeth II will be made, and on Christmas Eve, it will air on ITV. Fans are already speculating as to whether Princess Catherine would demonstrate her musical prowess at the forthcoming carol service after showcasing it at the previous occasion. The 40-year-old provided the instrumental accompaniment while the Scottish singer blasted out the words during Tom Walker's magnificent rendition of his heartbreaking ballad, For Those Who Can't Be Here. Despite being very anxious about making her stage debut, Kate's mastery of the piano stole the show, and audience members are now requesting an encore. The princess apparently learned how to play the piano as a young child, but during the COVID-19 lockdowns, she reportedly started playing more regularly. 
Fans of the royal family are now expecting that Catherine would appear in yet another joyful concert at this year's carol service after the overwhelming favorable response to her debut appearance. As a crazed fan, I'm curious as to what attire our Princess of Wales will choose for this particular event. Look at the variety of styles she donned in the past, just to recap. 2021's Princess of Wales attended a Christmas carol service with a colorful coat, during a special outing in December 2021, Princess Catherine's scarlet coat with a bow-decorated collar added an extra touch of festive happiness. Together at Christmas, a carol service that was taped at Westminster Abbey and will air in the UK, was presented by the Duchess of Cambridge. On December 24, according to Elle, Kate wore a coat by Catherine Walker. In the presentation, she also added a note. The concert was a family event held to express gratitude to individuals who supported their communities throughout the coronavirus outbreak. Her brother, sister, and sister-in-law were there, as well as Princess Catherine's parents. Even though Princess Catherine has perfected her royal manners, she occasionally makes a mistake. The now 39-year-old went on the royal family's Christmas stroll to church on Christmas Day 2019. Together with Prince William and their two oldest children, Prince George, 8, and Princess Charlotte, 6, she went to the Church of St. Mary Magdalene. Princess Catherine used her typical winter clothing formula for her Christmas appearance. She wore heels, a long coat, and matching accessories. Princess Catherine grinned as she met well wishes on Christmas Day, much like every previous Christmas spent with the royal family. The hot weather that day made Princess Catherine regret her choice of clothing. Yes, Kate's holiday attire was a tad too comfortable. The day's royal visitors included Karen Anvil, who spoke with the UK's Metro about the conversations she and her daughter Rachel had with Princess Catherine and Charlotte. Princess Catherine told my daughter that she should NT have worn a certain outfit since it made her feel too hot, according to Anvil. Obviously, depending on the weather, Princess Catherine could reconsider her Christmas attire for 2021. In 2018, Princess Catherine made a statement wearing a red and white coat. During a 2018 tour to Sweden and Norway, Kate's coat made it simple to notice her in a crowd, maybe taking a page from Queen Elizabeth II who likes bright colors. The now 39-year-old made a statement with her coat as she greeted kids, even though she was wearing the colors of the Norwegian flag while being in Stockholm, Sweden. Princess Diana was reflected in Princess Catherine's clothing. Kate made a tribute to Princess Diana five years before saying I do to Prince William and four years before being engaged in Kenya. The mother of three, who was William's girlfriend at the time, attended Sandhurst Military Academy celebrations in December 2006 while they were still together. She observed the parade and oath-taking ceremony in Surrey, England, when William was sworn in as an officer. In terms of both color and shape, Princess Catherine's black hat and red coat resembled an ensemble that her late mother-in-law had wore. Princess Catherine has dressed like Diana on several occasions, neither the first nor the last. On several occasions throughout the years, she has paid tribute to Diana in both subtle and overt ways. What makes you eager to await this unique occasion? Who wants to hear our wall princess play the piano? Anyone else share my belief that she will wear a tribute costume to the lovely queen? To share your opinions with us, kindly leave a comment. Regards and see you in the following video. Goodbye.